Okay, hi, my name's Brian Dossett, um, and um, I study Jiu-Jitsu, amongst other styles. But today I'm going to try to explain to you a technique which I'm going to do. Um, it's a technique, stand-up technique, where you're actually blocking um, a strike and you're retaliating. I'm going to do it first of all with my colleague and then I'm going to explain it to you because there's quite a few people that are doing techniques, great techniques, um, but they don't explain them. They don't, they don't understand the technique. They just do the technique, enjoy the technique, and they do it very, very well. But I think it's very important for the person to understand what they're doing, not just doing it. And here we go. Okay, this is Alex, my assistant. And um, what he's going to do is going to do a roundhouse punch. Do it slowly, Alex. Round to the jaw. It's going to go there. The obvious, obvious um, punch in the street. And also, I'm going to do the blocking. Now I could do that, which means he would catch me. Right? In the street, he would catch me. Or I could do that. And I'm going to do the second one because I'm just going to block it with my soft parts of my hand rather than my bone part, bone to bone. If it's bone to bone, the strongest bone will win. In this case, I'll be the loser, because I'm the oldest, all right? So I'm gonna make sure I'm going to block that, but look after my body at the same time. So he comes, bang. So all I've done here is blocked him. I have not stopped him thinking. And that's his computer. That's what his, his brain is, there. That's where it's coming from. He's gonna come in now, he's gonna come in, bang, 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 and the lot's gonna come in. You, anybody been in the street fight know what I'm talking about. Those who haven't been in the street fight, well, you've got to try to guess. But however, so it is one. I've got to destroy that. So by doing that, I've just made him think. But he's not going to be there long enough. He's going to come back again and it's going to go off. So I've got to do something quite quickly. I've got to go one, bang. Now I've got to go bang, bang. So I've got to strike him in the solar plexus. So I'm going to first of all block him off. That's taking his mind away from his next thing. He's now got to rethink what he's doing. While he's thinking, I'm going bang, and then I'm going to go bang, and we all know what that does, don't we? Not very nice, but he knows that I can do that. I know that I can do it, because he knows I can do it, and I know I can do it. That's the reason why I don't do it. So instead of hitting him here, I'm going to hit him twice there, but he knows what it would be in reality. So it is one, two, three, four. Let's speed it up slightly, it's just a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. A little bit faster. A little bit faster still. Now he's still standing there. That might not have worked. I might have gone bang, 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 and he's standing there and I'll go, oh dear, I'm in a mess here, so I've got to get away. We're going to do that in a moment in the dojo, all right? But let's see what the kind of things we could do. Let's understand it. He comes, I block, I take away his computer, I do some damage or try and do some damage. I get out the way here. Now I'm behind him. I can do all kinds of things here. And that's the kind of things we're going to play with in a moment in the dojo. It's a bit dark in there, but let's see what we can do. So thank you, Alex. So as you can see, they're slowing up, doing the same technique, and the master John Old will go around to help them where they need to be helped. But that's just another technique, and I'm sure those of you looking at this video, the skills that you've got, you can do that same technique 
and you can come up with your own finish which will be very interesting to everybody. Imagine six people doing the same technique with six different finishes. They're all learning from each other and that's how it should be. As you can see, Stephen Dossett now, he's just doing a technique on Matthew Parker. He's blocking and he's going with the right hook over the head and then to the body, just short and sweet. He blocks it, one, two. He blocks it, one, two. And that's the kind of thing they do. They're not doing it hard, but they're doing it hard enough to condition themselves, but they're not doing it to injure each other. And again, that's how it should be done. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Now you've seen the same, you're seeing the same technique um, done by um, Professor John Isles. Um, and he is doing the same movement as we did outside in the green, but he's added something to it. And this is the beauty of these techniques. You can actually do the techniques and leave the rest to your own imagination according to the instructor, whatever style the instructor may be doing. You can add a bit of karate in, kung fu in, taekwondo in, kicking and punching in. For example, on the other side, we have our kickboxing class. And this class belongs to uh, the organization called MASS, Martial Art All Styles. They have a different room in our house and they are members of the same association as these are. And they are working together as it should be done. So now I'm going to go on the mat and do some training with them, with my colleague Alex. And I'm just trying to go and put the same thing as I showed you in the green into action as you see today. I hope you enjoyed what you see. Thank you.